Hello everyone, this is Linkimus Prime, and, well, uh, this was not necessarily the review I was planning on doing, uh, and that's mainly due to the fact that I have to rework a lot of the video, and when I say a lot, I mean, uh, the entire video. Um, so, but I want to keep consistent to some kind of upload schedule, so... Today we're going to take a look at, well, a figure from my childhood and a figure that I wanted during said childhood but could never find. Um, but, you know, these are the Thrilling 30, uh, like, two-packs. The, uh, these are, like, Legends class figures, but they, they were, like, a two-pack with, like, a, an included Target Master. Uh, and these came out almost a decade ago, uh, which is pretty insane because I, I picked up the, um, well, just for context, the Nemesis Prime is the one from my childhood. I picked him up back in 2014. So these are relatively old figures. Um, it pretty much, I, I've had the Nemesis Prime uh, the entire time I've been a Transformers fan. So yeah, and um, but a little bit of backstory. Uh, Nemesis Prime I found at a Toys R Us back in 2014. And I played with him so, so much, and that will show later on in this uh, in this review. Now, the Optimus Prime is a figure that I tried to look for for the longest time, but I could never find in stores um, until literally like two, three days ago. Um, I went to a local store and I found him. He was in, in, in he he was in a, a baggie with an included uh, bumblebee. Um, like the, uh, the Thrilling 30 Legends Bumblebee, and that Bumblebee came complete with his Target Master. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I, and I got both Prime, like, I got Prime Complete and that Bumblebee Complete, even though they came in two different box sets, all for $15. That's it. So, yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, I was able to find Prime, finally, and, uh, they are complete, but you know, uh, today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Thrilling 30, Legends Class, Optimus Prime and Roller, and Nemesis Prime and Spinister. I do first want to take a look at the included Target Master, so we have here Roller, and he's pretty interesting. I mean, he, he has that Roller feel, he's blue, he has six wheels, and you can mount Optimus's Ion Blaster on top of him, so... That's pretty cool. Uh, the wheels do spin. These ones don't spin very well, but these ones spin a little bit better up here at the front. And uh, we do have a lot of pretty nice detail. I'm just going to pop the gun off right there. And we get some more kind of going out, you know, throughout the uh, the figure itself. We got these giant thrusters in the back. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very nice looking figure. It's just a, a, a Jeep. It's just a Jeep with, with more detail on it, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Now, um, in terms of, like, transformation, there's really only one step, and it's just... Yeah. Uh, now, if you want to, you know, do something else, you can just flip the arms forward, and there you go. So, there's that. Another cool thing you can do is there's a little handle right here, and Roller can actually hold the Ion Blaster, which is really cool, even though, even though it's, it's literally bigger than him. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a little thing you can do. Now, another thing you can uh, do is, put the arms down like that, and all you gotta do is just take this, bring it forward, and you have a even bigger gun. Yeah, and if you want to make it even more ridiculous, there's a port right here on the stomach. Just pop in the ion blaster like so, kind of align it, and you get a gun with a gun on top of it. But that's not all. <laughs> if you see this weird kind of shape in the back, uh, and you see this right here, boom. Oh wait, I should probably... There, yeah, boom giant gun <laughs> so that's something you could do now it, it is insanely loose and it you know pops off easily but you know it's it's a it's a thing you can do but you know it's it's a neat little thing and I, I really do like it and just pop that back bring that up there you go but yeah definitely a neat little guy I'm just gonna pop this back up right there 
And, uh, but yeah, and then let's take a look at Spinister here. Spinister is nice, he's kind of, you know, a purple, blue, kind of teal blue color. That, that's all we really get. We get some red here at the bottom, but, you know, that's more for robot mode. Um, uh, but yeah, very, very nice looking, uh, Target Master. The, um, you know, whoa, that looks trippy on camera. Holy crap. All the, uh, you know, propellers can spin. My, uh, my ADHD is going insane right now. Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah. so uh, we do get him, and his transformation is pretty simple. You just flip this up and flip this back to reveal the head, and just bring the arms forward, and there you go. There, there you have Spinister in his, in his robot mode. And he's he's an interesting little fella. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like the you know kind to be able to cause harm, maybe even commit a few war crimes here and there, but yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but we do get, uh, you know, some uh, some red for the eyes, or more look, more like the uh, the visor. Um, you get some red for this uh, part above the head and right there. That's really about it for paint. But uh, yeah, very very nice looking figure. Lots of nice detail. Now to turn him into his target master mode. First, we are going to bring everything back. I'm gonna take the propellers and take them off like that. And then just take all of this and bring it forward like so. Flip this back, flip that down, and there is his target master mode. He's a he's a little he's a little gun, and then this uh, propeller thing acts as a shield, which is pretty neat. So yeah, neat little set right there. Uh, uh, just you know, transform him back. Boom, boom, and. So yeah, but yeah, I, I I really do miss these Target Master type figures from the Thrilling 30 line. I kind of wish we'd get more figures with this kind of transformation gimmick, uh, but unfortunately we don't. Uh, but these are very, very neat little figures, so yeah. Next, I would like to take a look at the Nemesis Prime figure, and oh my god, I just love the way that this figure looks. It's just simply, simply classic in my at least to me because you know it's it's, it's, a, it's an almost decade old figure <laughs> uh but yeah uh very very nice looking vehicle mode if i do say so myself it's not fully black i'll say that it's kind of like a a brownish green but like a very dark brownish green we do get a silver stripe kind of going around the side in fact actually funny thing we don't get that on optimus prime it's just a, a straight you know red I do wish we got the silver stripe on that to kind of better match the nemesis, but, you know, not a huge deal. But yeah, very, very nice looking figure. Uh, we do get red for the windshield, we get the blue for the feet, of course, like, hanging off in the back. Silver for the, uh, the, uh, the, the gas tanks, we get some more silver for the grill and the bumper, as well as the headlights. We get that, uh, that same blue, kind of teal color, uh, on the headlights. Um, but overall, very, very nice looking truck mode, very simplistic. He rolls very, very nicely. Sorry, my voice is cracking a lot. <laughs> but yeah, he rolls really nicely. I do like the way that these older figures can, you know, can roll and stuff. And a, a cool little thing you can do is we take Spinister and turn him into his little target master mode. I'm doing that wrong. There we go. And just do that, like that. And there is a port on top of Nemesis Prime's truck mode and you could just port it in there and you could have a weird little what Hasbro would now call Evo Fusion no I'm gonna stop talking but yeah <laughs> so pretty pretty interesting little uh little thing that you can do I wish that was more so in the back than on top but you know yeah <laughs> so that's something you could do but yeah very very nice looking truck mode now, when it comes to Optimus Prime, we pretty much get the same exact detail, just, you know, with a different color scheme. Uh, of course, we don't get the stripe on the side, but we do get the blue windshields. We actually do get yellow painted, uh, like, not headlights, but like, I forgot what these are called. I'll just call them lights, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they are painted yellow. Uh, we do get silver for... Um, you know the headlights we get silver for the bumper and for the grill which looks very nice get silver for the gas tanks and we get some silver for these back sections right here but yeah uh 
very very nice looking you know vehicles now some cool features with the optimus prime is with roller take off the ion blaster with roller if you notice these two little prongs right here up top there's actually two little slots here in the back you just connect them like that and he could pull around roller and if you really really want to do something funny you could also just pop that on top and there you go it <laughs> I love this thing. I, I love this thing so much. When I when I found him, I was so happy, and then I find all these cool features that I completely forgot about over time, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so this is so bizarre, but so cool. But yeah, that, that's something you could do. Uh, and then another cool thing is uh, because it's the same mold, you can literally do the same thing with Nemesis Prime, so you get that kind of character compatibility. Now, of course, it doesn't match very well, but it, it, you know, that's something you could do, and I like that. Uh, but yeah, so so pretty neat little little thing. Um, but yeah, so lots of features, more so with Optimus than Nemesis. Uh, but I, I always love you know that kind of you know feature variety, uh, if you want to call it that. Uh, but yeah, now I will say this with Nemesis, you know, some of some of the age that is showing. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but some of the silver is deteriorating. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll repaint it, but if it gets bad to a certain extent, then I'll, I'll do so. Like, the, if you notice on this side, there's still silver paint. On this side, it's completely gone. <laughs> it's just not there anymore. It does not exist. Uh, more silver paint's just kind of scraping off on the sides, too, over here. So, that is something that kind of sucks, you know. Uh, but I, I've done my best to make sure that, you know, it still keeps up in terms of looks, but... It, it's definitely showing its age because I did play with this thing quite a lot. So, yeah, um, Optimus isn't really showing any signs of that per se. Uh, but you know, whoever whoever owned this before I did uh, kept it in pretty pretty decent condition. So, yeah. But you know, very very nice looking you know vehicle modes. These do look great together in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, so. Anyways, let's get on to the robot mode. So, when it comes to transformation for these guys, it's pretty simple. And all you gotta do is just take this front section right here, untap it, and just bring it down like that. Take the arms, flip them out like so, and like so, bring them forward, and then take the legs, is on a little uh, hinge joint right here, just bring it down, rotate, the waist around like so just kind of line it up to there and then all you got to do is open up the chest like so just make sure you open it up enough you also get like a little matrix chamber on the inside with an Autobot logo that looks very very nice take the head flip it out like that kind of close this not all the way of course because you want to not hide the Autobot symbol and you want to keep this accurate to IDW Optimus Prime which this is based off bring that up and uh, just kind of adjust everything, and there you go. There you have Optimus Prime, and he looks great. He looks very, very nice. And uh, I'll, I'll do Nemesis Prime now, of course. You already get the gist of it, but yeah, these guys are super fun. I, I love these. Um, you know, uh, I, I do. I, I know we have you know core class and all that kind of stuff, but. I just love the the charm of these old Legends class figures. They're just they're just a lot of fun, um, and uh, I I just I miss these. I'd love to see these get like some kind of reissue or something because that would be great. I could probably pick up another Nemesis Prime because yeah, this guy as you can see, oh god, uh, his elbows do not work anymore. There's a fix for that. I you know I, I always have my my little fixes for uh, loose uh, ball joints. But um, for these, I don't know how I'm going to fix these. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. I was trying to figure that out yesterday because these are on pin joints, as you can see. Not really pin joints, but like these like joints that I can't really like tighten because they're not a screw. And that's, that's a bit annoying, so I'm going to have to figure out something. But overall, robot modes, you know, these are the closest we've gotten to, you know, actual retail IDW transformable figures from Hasbro because... We, we haven't really, you know, gotten, you know, I, I believe these are the 2009 continuity prime designs, uh, but we haven't really gotten, you know, official, like, non-Legends class Voyager, Voyager-sized, you know, IDW prime figures yet, and I want to see one because I absolutely love this design, 
but I also do know that Hasbro is going to, you know, G1ify it, which I'm the biggest fan of in terms of at least the IDW stuff. Um, but these look amazing. I just, I love these so much. They, they just have a charm to them that I enjoy. And, uh, you know, but, you know, yeah, uh, looking closer on the detail for Prime, uh, we get the blue for, you know, the, 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 uh, win windows, yeah, <laughs> we get the gray for the rest of the body, we get some silver for these, like, faux headlight pieces, head is blue painted silver on two different areas, which looks very nice, the eyes are actually painted, but it's a little hard to make out on camera, uh, but they are painted with, like, a, a light metallic blue, uh, the hands are painted with a metallic, like a dark metallic blue, which looks really nice. I love the way that that looks. Um, rest of it, of course, is red. Uh, the legs, you know, you get you know more detail. You get like a dark gunmetal uh, silver right here for the legs. You get some silver, like some lighter silver for these parts right here on the legs. It just looks really nice. Um, but yeah, and uh, a lot of the vehicle mode stuff just kind of carries over into the robot mode, and it looks great. For Nemesis Prime, we get a little bit more painted detail, and when I say that, I mean like literally only, you know, of course, like some things carry over from the vehicle mode, but uh, with the head, we get uh, some uh, some of that metallic, not really metallic blue, but like the, the teal uh, on the crest and on the mouth, we get red for the eyes. Uh, of course, you know, the, the red on the window chest kind of carries over. Uh, we get, you know, more blue on, you know, or more uh, teal, I should say on the legs and on the feet more silver kind of in these areas same with optimus prime there and uh that same blue on the on the hands but yeah very very nice looking paint job it's i don't know if this is entirely accurate to the nemesis prime color scheme from the, uh, the idw comics but i still prefer the way that it looks over you know at least some designs now bringing in the little target masters so you know just for a little little comparison uh you're just transforming uh you know there's a roller with prime there and with uh spinister boom, boom, boom. and boom there you go there they have their little target masters right next to them and yeah neat little sets in my opinion now um Optimus is the only one that comes with an ion blaster. You can have Nemesis hold it, so if you want Nemesis to have an ion blaster, then you could do that. But it just, you know, works a little bit better, in my opinion, with Optimus Prime. I just kind of bring that over, pop that in, and there you go. You have, you know, you have this little ion blaster, and that's that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm kind of going over, uh, you know, the uh, the Target Masters. So. And just kind of transform them into their uh, their little gun modes. There you go. And a Prime can hold, you know, you can hold Roller. Pop that in there like so. And you know that that's <laughs> it's literally half his size, which is so funny. <laughs> but but yeah, so you know he could he could hold he could hold Roller like a like a giant gun. Uh, and if you really want to, you could go full-on bazooka mode. Just, <laughs> just do that and, you know, plug plug this into there like so. And uh, let's see here. How many? How, I, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do that and just kind of bring that into the other hand. And... <laughs> God. This is so ridiculous. Uh, and, and there you go. He's, he's, he's a giant. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's cool though. I love this. I, I very much love this. Uh, so, you, you know, that's that's something you could do. <laughs> that is something you could do. Um, now with Spinister here, you know, just pop off the propeller and transform him into his, his target master mode. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 and you just pop it in there like so. And with the propeller, you know, you could just, you know, have it like a, a shield, even though he doesn't have a proper port. Just kind of plug that in there like so, and there you go. And and that's that's them with, with their target masters. Personally, I think it's it's a lot less bizarre with with Nemesis, but with Optimus, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> I just get a kick out of this, but yeah, uh, definitely 
cool little you know little sets they have a lot of features but uh yeah now okay so in terms of articulation let me take these out in terms of articulation we do get a swivel at the head which can go all the way around like so the arms can rotate all the way around and we do get these little if you notice these little things are on hinge joints they do move up and I was always curious about the purpose behind this. I was like, is this a design thing? Not really. This is just to make it to where you can like move the arms outward. So that, that's pretty smart. I like that they did that, but it, it definitely looks a little bit weird uh, when, when doing it because, you know, they can't move out fully like that. But, you know, it's a little thing that they included, which is nice. But yeah, so arms, you know, they do have some range and also do the fact that they are on a ball joint. So that is very nice. The elbows can bend and, you know, do all, all, all those elbow things. They can rotate all the way around like that and it's pretty much the same thing for the other side you know the chest can move due to transformation uh, if we move this part down we do get a uh, swivel at the waist which is very very nice uh, we do get you know the legs can kick forward that much and back that much so they do have full range like that you do get uh, you know pretty much all the way splits which is very nice uh, because of the fact that this is on a ball joint, you can get a little tiny thigh swivel out of it. You get a bend at the knee, rotation at the knee, and that's pretty much about it with articulation. But in terms of just articulation on a figure this small, it's, it's very impressive. And of course, it's the same thing for Nemesis Prime. But yeah, very, very nice. You can get a lot of cool poses out of these. And uh, yeah, just, just very, very cool in my opinion. Um, and uh, I do, I do kind of miss these. These, you know, I, I'd love to see these figures reissued, honestly, because that would just be cool. But yeah, so you know, very nostalgic for me, especially the Nemesis Prime. I grew up with this figure, just like you know, messing around with them, playing with them. I'm gonna try to find a way to fix the, the looseness. Uh, the elbows are, are are easy to fix. It's just that chest is gonna be you know a bit of a challenge. But you know. I like these. I, I really do like these, and um, I'm glad I was able to find Prime recently because Prime was one that I, I wanted for at least almost, you know, at least nine, eight, eight nine years. Um, but yeah, so if you can find these, I'd recommend picking them up. Just, just putting it out there because these are great. These are very, very cool figures. And, uh, you know, for the time that they, that they came, that they came from, I'd say that, you know, they're pretty decent for what they are. Uh, I mean, like, you know, this is when, cause we're, we're coming up on the 40th anniversary of Transformers. These were part of the 30th, the 30th anniversary toy line. So, so these are, these are almost 10 year old figures. So, you know, that when you, when you, when you think about that, that's, that's pretty insane. But, uh, yeah, uh, for my final comments, you know great toys like i said you know just very nostalgic for me i love them and uh if you can find them pick them up at least for a good deal i mean i was able to find prime and uh bumblebee for 15 dollars altogether, which was amazing and uh you know they have cool little features and stuff and i just love it i absolutely love it but uh anyways guys that's pretty much it for this review uh i hope you all enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!